Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and as I said, I'm back today with another tutorial. So yesterday I showed making this page where I sprayed and then I mopped up and got this page. And now what I'm going to do is show you how to take this mop up page using the Winter Bliss Kit and make another journal page. Alright, so to begin with, what I'm going to do is flip this over because I want to stamp on here before I glue anything down. That way, nothing is in the way of making a good impression. I've got the, oh, I think it's, I forgot the name. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> I have so many new stamps now that I don't remember all of the names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this in the lower portion of this page. And I'm going to put some fun foam back behind here. Just because there's a lot of detail in this image. And sometimes if you go to stamp and you don't get a good impression, it's your surface. And if you have a little cushion behind your paper, you'll get a better impression. I've got some archival ink and jet black that I'm using and I'm going to line this up right into this lower corner here like so then I've got the words white Christmas that's also a stamp that I have in my shop by Beeline Designs and I'm going to stamp it right here above the little scene I like it. Isn't that cute so far? And you've got the snowflakes in the background. Next, I've got the snowflake border in Mermaid Lagoon. And so what I'm going to do is ink this up and stamp around the edges here. I'm going to start there. I'm going to go ahead and fold my page just so I know where the center is. This is going to be, I probably don't say this enough, when I fold this in half, this will become one sheet of paper, four pages in my journal. So this will be a page, that'll be a page, this will be a page, and that'll be a page. And there'll be other pages stacked on either side of these, and it'll be bound in my journal. All right, I'm going to go down the side here. And I want just a little bit right here, so I'm just barely kissing the stamp down. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So just adding stamps all the way around there. I'm flipping it back over and I've got the Christmas stamp and I'm going to stamp it in this lower corner here. Okay. Now I'm going to apply a few embellishments. These are from the kit Winter's Bliss. Winter Bliss. I always say Winter's and it's Winter Bliss. I'm trying to get all my little pieces that I had here. Okay. So these are little pieces that are fussy cut elements out of the kit. And I've applied some tulip dimensional glitter paint to some of these. I don't know if you can see them very well, but they have some sparkle on here. This is the tulip glitter it's dimensional paint. It's usually about $3.99. I pick it up in Hobby Lobby and like the t-shirt decorating department. So what I'm going to do is glue this down. So I'm going to put glue on this edge here and across the top like so and then i'll put this piece over here this is one of the sentiments that's in the winter bliss kit so i'm just going to go ahead and glue it down we'll put it down here on the bottom i've got a journal card that will go here but i won't put it in all the way yet until this glue is dried because i have learned that if you put it in too soon it can glue to the embellishment <laughs> All right, so over here, I've got this oversized tag that I'm going to use as a belly band on the page so we can put things behind it. So I'm just going to put glue across here and here. All right, I'm going to set this aside for a moment, and then we're going to work on something to go behind this belly band. What I've got here is a leftover greeting card that you're supposed to decorate or you can put in your printer and print. And I had a stack of these, so I thought I would get those out. I've also got an envelope, a gel print, another embellishment, a piece of lace, and I've got a few rubber stamps laid out here. We're going to start with by stamping around this edge here. So I've got the um, 
I, I call it textured edges, but I call it like the damask piece of it. And I'm going to take the Mermaid Lagoon and I'm going to ink this up and stamp it all the way around. Grab a scrap of paper here. So I'm just going to start adding that to the edges. I'm not going to do this edge because I'm going to be placing a piece of paper there, so I'm not really worried about it. I am going to go ahead and stamp all the way around the envelope as well. The back of the envelope had some scuff marks on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp on it. I've got the Twas the Night Before rubber stamp. I love this little saying. It's really cute, and it's even got a little mouse here in the corner. And I'm going to ink it up with Blue Parent Sketch. So I'm going to try to do it in this lower corner here. Like so. See? Kind of cute. And then I've got the Romantic Swirl, and I want to stamp that on here. So I'm going to put a strip of paper over here, which I think I need to trim. Then there's going to be this little embellishment. So I want that Romantic Swirl to be in this area. Okay, we're starting to build this all together. So I'm going to trim this piece of paper to fit right here, and I'll be right back. I'm going to apply some distress inks around the edges of this gel print script. Let's go ahead and glue this one down. I'm going to go ahead and go around the whole edge with the distress ink. This is walnut stain. I've got this little piece of lace and I want to put it on here, but I think I need to alter the color so you can see it a little better. So let me grab a Tattered Angels. I've got Blue Peacock Blue. This is from the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angels kit that I have in my shop. There's six different colors in here, and I think this blue will be a good one. So I'm just going to spray that all over. I'm going to use my heat tool to dry it really fast. All right, I know I want to place this right behind here, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this little ticket area, and then I can line up the lace on the back and then I'm going to fill in the back side with more glue. And let's place that right about here. I use the best glue ever and put just a dot onto the back of a little snowflake sequin and I'm going to place that little sequin right there. So there's my card so far, and then I've got this envelope that I want to stamp. So I'm going to stamp the Twas the Night Before again. And I've got this little tree from the Festive Cube, and I thought it would look cute as like faux postage in the corner. And since we had this little foo bar here, I'm going to take the Romantic Swirl, grab a little scrap of paper here. And kind of stamp that coming in off the edge. So it looks like it was all planned. We didn't, you know, accidentally get it dirty. We did it on purpose. <laughs> okay, so we've got our journal page here. And this guy's going to go right here. We're going to flip this over. And I'm not even going to put the card in the... Um, envelope. I am going to add a little bit more glue on the edge of this lace, just little dots to kind of help hold it in place. Just press it down. And these pieces are going to fit behind our little belly band here, like so. And I've got one more of these little snowflakes. I'm just going to add it. You probably can't see it. But when you're in person, you can kind of see it flash right there. Well, there is my junk journal page using the mop-up. You know, stamping on top of it, using some of the elements from the kit, making a little journal card that you can use. You know, you can pretend that this was a greeting card that was sent and mailed to you, and then you ended up using the whole area inside to write whatever is going on for your holiday season for you. I like this belly band because it has uh, lines on it. I did make another one, so I'll show you that one. And it was made with um, 
a different element for the kit and the same concept of using a little journal card to go inside the belly band. And then this one, I just used a different image here. So you get a little bit different variety, a little different sayings. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Comment below if you have any comments or questions. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time doing junk journals. On Thursdays, I go live at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we do mixed media then. So definitely check that out. Check out my Facebook groups by Linda Israel and the Friendly Junk Journal people, as well as fans of Calico Collage, Norella does these great images for me to be able to have these kits to offer to y'all in the shop so definitely check out her as well and what else um, thanks for watching I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and as I say if you enjoy something that anybody does on any platform of social media share it whether it be telling your neighbor, telling your friends, posting it on your social media. That way that person gets seen by more people and their audience grows and they're encouraged to continue to create. So definitely share that with all of those that you enjoy uh, in this world. All right. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.